When you strap into a top fuel dragster, it's a life-altering experience. It's an experience of G-forces that is greater than those of a fighter jet and even the space shuttle. Accelerating the length of three football fields in 3.6 seconds at 338 miles per hour, the top fuel dragster has no equal on wheels. Yet it pales in comparison to the power of God. to be a believer out here in the world of drag racing is uh you know it has its times but the good part is is that the lord always provides different people around you in your life that helps you stay on that path that's the hardest part is just like having other brothers and sisters that hold you accountable and you can hold them accountable that you can actually just stay closer and keep that relationship going with god each and every day we're called to be a light in the darkness and um when it comes to the world this is like babylon and um it's a great place to be a light to point people to the lord because there's so much wealth fame money but yet people are empty and so i get to point people to the only one that's going to satisfy them you know being a believer out here is one thing but being a believer in life is another thing you know when you wear your faith on your sleeve and you're open, honest, and straightforward about things, uh, things fall in, into place a lot easier. Thundering into the Florida net, a huge fireball for Brittany Force, and it's a 370 for Antron Brown, and it's a win light. Brown with an 053 light collects $80,000 in the championship of the Pep Boys All-Star Callout. How better of a way to start the season for AB Motorsports? This is great. It's a great momentum builder, but you know what? God gets all the glory. Could you imagine making a run down the drag strip without Jesus by your side? <laughs> Listen, I sit in that car because I started way late and I'm a lot of guys my age are already retired. And my conversation with God is, Lord, I must be crazy sitting in this top fuel car and um, I know I can't do this on my own. You got to drive this for me. And I ask him and as soon as the last thing I do is put my visor down to the fuel line, I see a Holy Spirit drive this car and I feel like something physically comes over me and I feel like I'm watching someone else do it. I couldn't do it without him. He's not just, he, Jesus is not just in the car, he's driving the car. I'm the passenger and I, and I try to let him have the driver's seat each and every time because I found out in my life that when I try to drive things, it don't go as planned. I can tell you distinctly when things go wrong and it's out of control when that wheel don't do this no more and you see blue sky, you're up in the air and you go like this, that's when you know God's got the wheel. He's got the wheel and it's nothing that you can do and you gotta trust in him and I just literally closed my eyes and said, Lord, what's meant to be is gonna be and, it's, and when I open my eyes, you know, uh, I end up still being there but some things don't turn out the way you think they are or what they should be. And then you look at it and you go, how do we get through this? It's one day at a time. And then the people that he puts you around, around you that helps keep you together. And the main thing of it is when he's got you on your knee and he's got your head down, you know there's only one person that can make it right. And that's our Heavenly Father. Yeah, I wasn't always on that side, you know. Uh, I always believed, but I, I never really uh, pronounced my faith. I uh, kind of was on the other end of the tracks, is what I tell people. So, but um, fearless racing was something that I created in 2012, and we kind of made some menacing logo, which was the Grim Reaper. And to me, nothing was more scary than obviously the Grim Reaper. So. Um, one day, a, a friend of mine, uh, ha just so happened to be the owner of Arnell Carriers, called me out of the blue and said, "Why, why the Grim Reaper? You know, like what, what's the story behind it?" And so I told him exactly what I just said, and 
He said, well, I understand that. He said, but it kind of forecasts the wrong message. And, you know, a company like ours would probably never support that. And it shocked me because I never looked at it like that. I looked at it like, you know, like I said, nothing was more scary and you face your fears and obviously driving one of these fire breathing nitro machines is pretty scary. So um, just kind of really changed my perspective on things. And then he hung up the phone and called me back minutes later and said, have you been saved? And I said, no, sir. And uh, he had a pastor friend of his on the phone. We did the sinner's prayer right there on the phone. And uh, as cheesy as it may sound, you know, you're driving home that night and the sun's kind of shining on you and you're looking around at all the things you have to be grateful for. And I have a lot to be grateful for, uh, especially where I came from to where I am now. And it just kind of made sense. And, uh, you know, so the partnership between me and RNL Carriers is much deeper than just a sponsorship. A lot of people don't know that. Um, the R and L carriers is not actually R and L carriers. It's an R with a Christian cross in the center and then the L. So um, it's been an awesome partnership. Wouldn't trade it for the world. What was it like the first time in public, in the media, that you proclaimed your faith? What was that like for you? It was not a good feeling, to be honest with you. Uh, we lost social media followers over it. Um, a lot of people, uh, even personal people uh, close to me, didn't understand, um, you know, because they were so used to the, the fire and the, the Grim Reaper type of um, image that we were putting out there. So uh, you just got to stick with it, and, uh, and we have, and it's been very beneficial. At Firebird International Raceway, I'm Paul Page with Mike Dunn at the Lucas Slick Mist Nationals. In the first round of Top Fuel, this very serious accident happened involving Andron Brown. The left rear came off the car, sending it into and down the wall. Andron was shaken up and was taken to nearby Chandler Regional Hospital for a checkup. The NHRA then reported that debris got into a spectator area. And USA Today is reporting that a female member of a nostalgia funny car team was taken by helicopter to Good Samaritan Hospital in Phoenix in serious condition. For me, as a person, I know that I put myself in harm's way driving a race car like we do. Uh, I know it, but the thing about it is you, you never want to put somebody else in harm's way. And uh, when that incident happened in Phoenix, it was one of the deals that, that you always just ask, like, you know, I don't, no matter what faith you have, you just ask why. I idolized my dad. I was going to follow in his footsteps. He's in the Hall of Fame. One morning I woke up at age 15. Find out, found out that he had died. And I was devastated. I ran from one end of the house to the other screaming no. And I was so empty and lonely and angry. And then somebody told me what it means to receive Jesus in my heart. And all I can say is a life and a peace and a joy came into me that changed me forever. Well, the Bible says God is the God of all comfort and he comforts us in our affliction so we can comfort others. And there's nothing worse, there's no greater pain than losing one of your children. We're not supposed to see our own child's grave site. But um, number one, she knew Jesus, and I know Jesus conquered death. And um, all I can say is when, when they were gonna take the respirator off of her, I just prayed and I said, Lord, I'm willing for whatever you wanna do, as long as you use it to reach people. great job but you know what we were driving for a higher purpose thank God for my grandmom for her for Abby Bucker she was flying with us today 
Booker family, we love you. And she's an angel up there. And what a day. Woo! From a human point of view, it's unbearable. But from God's point of view, and one of my grandsons said, what if God took Abby so that more people can go to heaven and we get her back in the end? And that's the only way I can see it. And it will be Josh Hart as Mike Salina smokes the tires immediately upon application of the throttle. 374 rated, 331. Josh Hart starts his season in the best way possible. Every time that I would question faith, something would happen to uh, remind me what was going on. You know? And what I mean by going on is things turned around. Um, and it was just uh, too much coincidence to ignore. It's one of those deals where that's where you really have to trust in the Lord and what the purpose of it was. And he brought a lot of people together during that time. But the thing about it is you never replace it. You never know when your time is. And that's when you have to honestly realize in your life that when he calls you, it's your time. Don't know why, when, how, or why. But, uh, but what I've learned was that that lady was an angel. So he's one of, she was one of God's children. And, uh, but the hardest part of it is, is that I just felt responsible for what happened. You know what I mean? And uh, it breaks me down every day. And um, he's with me more than I have ever experienced in my life since that moment. God is good all the time, even in something like that. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your grace. Keep Antron and Josh safe, and when I get to race, me also. But Lord, I pray that we look to you, we trust you, and Lord, help us to honor you. Help us to use this platform for your glory, and Lord, to give you the glory with any success. And um, thank you for the privilege of being able to, to race. Thank you for these brothers, and um, I pray, Jesus, you'd be lifted up at the races this year. In your name, Jesus, amen. Amen. Have you ever thought about where your life would be without Jesus in it? I, I'm scared to think about it, you know, truly. Um, you know, a lot of, lot of hurdles in my life, a lot, uh, lot of examples of what not to be. And I chose to go the other way, and, and I feel like he's the reason that I went that way.